Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. This is Dr. Jeff Olgaier with Discover Chiropractic. So today we're gonna answer one of the most common questions that I get asked, and that's what's the best mattress for our spine? So, to find out how to get quality sleep without compromising your spine, stick around. So sleep is obviously one of the most important aspects of our health. It's one of the most important things that we have control over. And so making sure that we're sleeping correctly to optimize that is obviously of crucial importance. So we're going to cover a couple different aspects. We're looking at what's the best mattress to sleep on. Uh, we're going to cover a couple different topics that will narrow that down and help us make the right decisions to find the mattress that's going to work best for us. As we go through this again, not every person is built the same. We have big people, we have small people, tall, short. So my recommendations are based on kind of, this is what we have found, this is what's generally best for most people. You may find, you know, what works best for you is a little different than most, but I hope this guides you in the right direction. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is firmness. Believe it or not, a firmer mattress is usually better for spinal health than a softer mattress. Now obviously we can go too firm, but too soft is harder on the spine than going too firm. The problem when the spine or when the uh, mattress is too soft is that it doesn't support the spine enough and we get our body in sagging in certain positions and it actually creates a lot of stress or tension on the spine and we're going to wake up feeling stiff, sore, the muscles and ligaments that surround the spine are going to be stretched in different positions. It's really not a healthy thing for the spine and usually creates way more problems. It's nice to crawl on something that's really soft but especially if we're getting our eight hours of sleep at night, too soft is, is really a problem and so we always encourage our patients to get on the firmer side of mattresses um, if you're if you're waking up every morning with back pain and you're thinking about getting a new mattress look into the firmer side of things again we like I said we can go too far and sleep on concrete which isn't good either we do need something that's supportive uh, but firmer is better so test that out if you uh, have a chance to you know replace your mattress uh, try a firmer mattress and see how you like that it's healthier for the spine okay so the second thing we're going to talk about is the type of material the mattress is made out of there are three most common materials that we make matches out of nowadays the old traditional one is coils uh, this is individual coils. Sometimes they're individual, sometimes they're linked together inside of the mattress. One of the benefits of these old traditional mattresses, they're certainly a little bit cheaper. They're not that hard to construct. They can be supportive, so you can get them firm, you can get them soft, which is really good. And unlike a lot of the more popular foam mattresses, which we'll get into in a second, they do run a little bit cooler, which is actually very important for getting good quality sleep. I would say the downside with the coil mattresses, again, is that they wear out really quick, so you, the springs uh, you know, tend to wear out faster, so you have to replace and maybe a little bit more frequently than some of the other types of mattresses. Again, it's cheaper, so that may offset that a little bit. But then they're also, you know, if you're sleeping in the bed with someone else and they move, a lot of that movement gets transferred throughout the bed and, and that can cause us to wake up at night and, you know, getting a sound, restful, continuous sleep all night is crucial for our health. And so we want to do things to make sure that we're maximizing, you know, or minimizing the amount that we're waking up at night. So this, uh, the most common type of mattress that I think people buy now are the memory foam mattresses. I love memory foam. This is what I currently have as a memory foam mattress. Um, there's, they're super supportive. They're very firm. What I like about the memory foam mattresses is that you can get a firmer mattress that still got a softer layer of foam up top. So it actually supports all the creases in our bodies very well, but it still su uh, supplies that underlying firmness that is so important for the ligaments and the muscles and the alignment of our spine. So I'm a big fan of the memory foam mattresses. They do last quite a while. There's very little movement in a memory foam, foam mattress. One of the biggest things we noticed when my, my wife and I bought our mattress was if she would roll or I would turn in bed, that you just don't feel that mattress move and, and you're, you're not feeling that movement hardly at all. And so that's really good. We've slept so good on our memory foam mattresses. There are two downsides, I would say, to a memory foam mattress. Number one is off-gassing. So when you buy a new memory foam mattress, you got to let it air out for a couple days. There are chemicals that they used in the processing. It is not good. You do not want to be breathing that stuff in. It is a synthetic material. That is a downside. We do want to minimize the amount of synthetic chemicals that we're exposing our body to throughout life, of course. So making sure that we're getting a, you know, you, you're spending eight hours, hopefully, on this mattresses. And so you don't want to be breathing in a bunch of chemicals all the time. But this off-gassing usually happens pretty quick. Uh, but that is important. You're not going to be able to buy the mattress and use it right away. You got to let that off-gas a little bit. And then 
Then number two, and this is a big concern with memory foam mattresses, is that they do tend to run warmer. They retain our body heat. And research is fairly clear on this, that sleeping, our body temperatures really like to cool down when we sleep. And so if we're too warm at night, that does not equal good solid sleep. And that really disrupts things. So keeping our bed cool, our room cool at night is super important. And that is a downside of memory foam mattresses. They stay warmer. So the third type of mattress that's becoming increasingly popular are the air beds. These are like the sleep number types. So one of the benefits of the air mattresses is that you can actually increase the pressure, decrease the pressure or the firmness of that mattress by changing the settings of the bed, of course. This allows customization for what you like. So if you need a firmer mattress than a spouse or you know someone share, you're sharing a bed with, you know that is adjustable. So that's really nice. And even as your maybe comfort levels change over time, let's say you've been starting on a really soft mattress. Sometimes when you bump up to a firmer mattress, it does take the body a little bit to adjust to that. And it can be uncomfortable. So using an adjustable type bed that you can maybe gradually increase the firmness is, an, is a nice easy way to raise the firmness over time and just let your body adapt to those changes, which is obviously better for the spine, of course. So the downside I would say is that they're super expensive, these sleep number mattresses, these air beds to change the pressure. There's a lot of moving parts in this. There are mechanical issues, of course, but they are a, a good investment. I have, uh, out of the conversations I've had with my patients, I think the a lot of people really do like the sleep number beds. Some people really don't like them. The most common thing that we, a lot of people really like the memory foam mattresses, even though they do run a little warmer. That's the most common, you know, I think thumbs up we get from our patients when, you know, kind of grading their mattresses. I, that's like I said, that's what I sleep on. Um, they're less expensive than the sleep numbers and you can get a good firmness. So um, we love that. But there is some benefit, of course, to those air beds and being able to change that firmness setting on the bed. So lastly, we're going to talk about the beds that are adjustable. Um, so I'm a big fan of these. You can get these in the air beds. You can get these, I do believe, in the coil beds and you can get them in the memory foam beds. But these are bed frames that actually can raise and lower, which can can actually be really beneficial if you are a snore, if you suffer with sleep apnea, if you get congested at night, if you have low back pain, you can change some of these settings in your bed or the angles in the hips and the legs in the, you know, your torso area to raise you up a little bit, decrease it. There obviously is more cost that comes with these types of beds, but that can be, again, the more customizable you can get if you've got the income to be able to, to, you know, invest in that type of thing. I do think it's a good idea because you can customize that even from night to night, depending on what you need to help ensure that you're getting the best sleep possible. And that, my friends, wraps up our video on how to choose the right mattress for your spine. Again, sleep is crucial for your health. It is crucial for your healing. Choosing the right mattress is not just about comfort. It's about what's best to keep your spine, nerve system, body healing and functioning the way that it's supposed to. So as a recap, we've got firmness levels. Firmer is better. We've got these different materials. I think memory foam probably is the sweet spot in there. And we've got the customization with, you know, adjustable heights. And they're even coming up with things now, adjustable temperatures, which can be really interesting in these beds. So all that makes a big difference. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, where we're posting these videos. And remember, take control of your health before it takes control of you.